So hi guys, I'm jumping on quickly just to give you a little bit of information that I got last night in meditation. Um, over the last few weeks I have been given a lot of um, my meditations on YouTube. Um, people who have come to me for Reiki understand that I don't only use my hands for um, the Reiki energy but I also use my voice and I channel tone, sound, light language and in some of the meditations you hear that in parts where the guides or your light family are actually activating the chakra system or the energy um, system in the body with my voice and when I asked my guys how for me to explain it to you better they gave me the um, imagery of this experiment that I've seen years ago on YouTube where there's a tone generator it's like a little machine and you and you higher up the, um, the volume of the hertz or the tone the frequency that goes into this little uh, metal plate and when you place sand on top of this metal plate as you raise up the tone or raise up the hertz frequency in the onto the metal plate the sand disperses and goes into beautiful geometrical shapes and if people who understand what sacred geometry is the flower of life the seed of life the metatron's cube which is that symbol and that symbol is in so many living things that we have here the seed of life is in creation how the when you look at the cells as they're creating um you know circle upon circle upon circle upon circle and how that cell is created it's the symbol of creation and beginnings so it's very um, um, simple imagery for me to be able to show you what tone does and how it reacts to the sand on the metal plate and then they said to me that if we can understand how we are one grain of sand one person one grain of sand and how there's trillions of grains of sand all over um, this earth that we live on uh, on our beaches uh, um, on the um, in the deserts there is 10 times more stars in the night sky when we look out into the night sky and we think that you know uh there couldn't be that amount but there's what we can see in the night sky um is uh, with the with the physical eye is not what you can see with a telescope and if you um multiply 10 if you multiply it by 10 times that's the amount of stars that's in the sky compared to the sand grains that we have on our um on our earth today and they said that we as a, one person or one human having an experience down here is one grain of sand and if this tone can um, react with one grain of sand that then reacts with that plate of um, sand and it can it can cause these beautiful geometrical shapes that's what one person can do and they said my role in it is the the tone generator the actual machine so when I generate a tone with my voice it changes the consciousness or changes the patterns that is in those grains of sand and they equaled it to the exact same um, experience that you have with water and I've been talking about water how much we should be drinking more water especially after doing these meditations and they showed me the um, Dr. Emoto the image of Dr. Emoto. And people who don't know who Dr. Emoto is, Dr. Masuru Emoto is um, an author. He died in um, October 2014. He was an author, but he also was a scientist. And he watched what uh, human consciousness thought, uh, words, sounds, um, the effect it had on water and I've had I talked about this in my Reiki uh, courses where you can teach your children how to understand what human consciousness is and how thought and uh, words affect water and us as a human being we're 70% water and mother earth is 70% water so we take us as this one human being having this experiment this experience um, it, it, they, sh they show it to you. Dr. Emoto shows the rice experiment where you take um, three jars, three sterile jars, you put uh, two or three boiled, cooled boiled rice, tablespoons of cooled boiled rice in each of those sterilized jars, and then you close the jars down. And it's a lovely experiment to teach your children how to do it. So three jars, and in each jar, you then pour um, um, sparkling, not sparkling water, sorry, still water, um, uh, nice fresh water, you can get that, like Evian water, uh, filtered water, water from those filtration systems, not crappy water that sometimes comes out of our taps here, really good water, so you can buy that in bottle form, spring water, and you pour spring water into each of those jars, so you have three jars, each has two tablespoons of cooled boiled rice, and you pour water in just to fill up the um, 
the jars and in that experiment he got each of the jars and each um, jar had a saying on it well the first jar had I love you the second jar was empty it was like basically had nothing on the on the front of it and the third jar said I hate you and you have to speak to the jars every day you use your expression so when you're talking to the jar that says I love you you say I love you like you're really talking to your child or your husband or your partner something that you really love I love you with that tone in your voice then you ignore the, the jar in the middle and then you um you tell the jar which says I hate you you tell it you hate it as like you're telling somebody you hate them and we, the reason that the, the rice is in it because it's white so you can see what what happens to the water because if there was no rice in it you wouldn't be able to see and within the space of a few weeks the rice starts to change colour. The one that you tell that you love goes this beautiful golden yellow. The rice goes a fluffy golden yellow. The one that you ignore in the middle goes black because you've ignored it. You didn't give it any form of um, consciousness. You didn't give it any any words, any thoughts, anything to it. You just ignored it. And the one that you said that you hated went um, this green color, like a green moldy color. So then when you show what you, what words can do to the water, and if we are human and we're 70% water, what words do to people? What, what thoughts and what words can do to people? What sounds can do to people? So somebody going, ah! and given a horrible sound can make um, water change consciousness. So Emoto did this experiment to teach, especially children, how words affect people. So we're at home, we're in lockdown, with lots of time on our hands. It's a lovely experiment, you can look it up on YouTube, so um, it will explain it much better than I'm trying to explain it, but it shows you that um, as a human um, being, we are affected, our consciousness is affected by the sound. So you, somebody saying, I love you, we're affected by that, our body reacts to it in the tone of somebody saying, I love you. And it also is the opposite to somebody saying, I hate you. That also affects the body. And they did it. It was really interesting because they did it where they put a glass of uh, spring water in between two speakers and they were played Beethoven. And then after a couple of hours, they took some of that water, they froze it and they looked at it underneath uh, uh, um, uh, a telescope. And when you look at it underneath a telescope, you see a beautiful crystalline uh, shaped uh, sacred geometry. Again, like a snowflake, looks like a perfect snowflake. If you do the same thing with a glass of water, a spring water, and you put it in between um, rock music, that rah, rah, rah music, the water crystals, the molecules in the crystals break up totally and it just disperses the whole molecule of water so that's what music like that does to your body so so interesting because the, he he gave me the analogy of this of the sand first and then they gave me the analogy of the molecules of water and it says that which is so amazing it says like we as water we are 70 percent water and it says so is the earth 70 percent water so when we fix our body first so be mindful of what water you're drinking so if you are drinking water try to drink the best water possible try to um, get the filtration systems in you know the kangen water system is a good one and um, that um the water that you have there's lots of um uh, filtration systems out there that you can buy because the water that we're drinking in our taps has fluoride um in it uh, fluoride in it and fluoride also um, affects the pineal gland which i talk about a lot the pineal gland is the receptor to spirit which is the top of the set the top of the head here in the inside the brain and that it's calcified it has like a um a, a hood on top of it of like this calcification calcification around the top of it and what they um want you to do is get rid of that calcification so the pineal gland is vibrating the way it should be so we can bring in this new energy bringing in this new information from spirit it's a sending receiving station and we can't bring in the information from spirit if this has a cap on it with this um calcification from fluoride so even though we have they say fluoride is good for your teeth it, it's not good for your pineal gland and i use toothpaste that has no fluoride in it because because i really am so sensitive to it so be very mindful of that be mindful of the water that you're drinking if you clear your body with this beautiful water you can um the best water that you can it is going to affect you and by you affecting your physical body then you affect everything else 
So that was the second thing they did. And they said, I asked about the um, the experience that we're going through at the moment and um, why Earth is having this experience. And they said, um, I spoke to Jesus and he said that this is God's or creator, whatever you want to call it, sources, um, greatest experiment is they said god is actually trying to experience himself down here in all of us we all have a spark of god within us and god is experiencing him, himself or herself in all of us uh, it, he chose to come down to this dense energy down here on on earth on mother earth it's a 3d dimensional and um, it's a it's a third dimensional planet it is so dense with energy so low vibration he could have went and went to the 12th dimension. He could have went to the 8th or 9th dimension and Pleiades and, you know, had an, a, a much better experience. But he decided to have this uh, very dark, dense experience down here because how can God ever experience himself? God is love and how can love ever experience itself unless it sees the darkness? So love has to have the duality and has to have the hate and it has to have the fears, right? So it's, it's chose to come down here on our planet our planet being one of those little grains of sand in this uh, we're a speck in the multi-galactic universe that we are in and all of these millions of billions and trillions of, sa of stars in the sky but he chose to have this experience on this planet that we're living on so how amazing are we to be on this planet having this experience so we can experience also the god within us can experience this in ourselves in our human form to and they, they said by us changing us and moving from the 3d up and trying to raise our vibrations by doing these meditations doing healing on ourselves being kind to each other doing all the good things love compassion empathy patience all these things that we're actually learning at the especially over the last few weeks we can change our vibration that we have within us we change the molecular structure that we have in our bodies we change it by giving ourselves good foods water juices all of the good things no low vibration no get rid of the sugars get rid of all the crappy foods that we're doing we have plenty of time to do it now so they're trying to get us to raise our vibration as quick as we can and raise our also our physical bodies too that being the water that's why it's so important I put these um, little um, um, videos up underneath to explain Dr. Emoto, to explain um, the sand experiment so you can understand what I mean by the sacred geometry and how it um, is affecting us as a, on a molecular um, field in our body. Um, and also one of the other things they showed me was when I was in Bosnia two years ago in the pyramids, which I'd done the pyramid meditation on YouTube there, and that was a really powerful one too. In the pyramids, in the bottom of the pyramids, um, they have streams of water and that water is pure as water. It's spar um, is spring water that's coming down through um filtrated through the um pyramid so the energy of that water is unbelievable right and it they they sell those little bottles of water outside in the little shop outside in visco beside the pyramid of the sun and when you buy one of those little bottles of water you can take a capful of that water and the capful of water you can put into any two liter of water or any five liter of water and within a couple of hours all the molecules of water change to the exact same water molecules that are in the little small bottle of spring water that you get from the uh, pyramids so it's really um it, the the molecules is what is what's inside you so the molecules of water what we're trying to do is so the best water you can get into you the best water that um has this frequency and has this vibration is going to change your physical body so that was one of the really important things they said last night so they can they were trying to give me a bet i was trying to ask them for an analogy of what i'm trying to teach you so if anybody over the last few days have gone, especially gone mad and gone mad juice and gone mad changing our foods, gone off meats, gone off all these things, especially after doing the uh, meditations, that's a good thing because what's happening is now those tones that I was doing in those meditations are now changing your frequency, changing your molecular structure. And by changing your molecular, molecular structure, your body and your spirit knows, mm, I don't want that. That's not good for me. That's on a low vibration, that food, and it changes. And you, you will start to go for foods now that are much better for you. So just be mindful of that over the next while. Um, so I hope that's um, some information about water that um, you can do, especially the um, Dr. Emoto. Uh, rice experiment you can do that with your kids at home and it really teaches them about especially the children it really teaches them about what um, words do to people's uh, bodies 
and, and teaches them all about bullying and stuff like that and to be kind to their their peers and their their friends and that so um i hope that's good information for you and i hope you're really enjoying the sun i have been out getting more brown than i already am and um i'm going to enjoy it over the next few days so namaste love and light